we're going to put in uh, a number of liters of 45 million cells per mil chlorella. In addition to that, I'm going to throw in the extract from that dried algae that I just showed you. What you're going to see is that we're going to start it up with just air. And nanobubbles are invisible to the eye, but we're generating trillions of them, so they diffract light. And that comes up as this white that you see. Now, if you focus down here in the bottom, you're going to see this is just air coming in. And you're going to see that uh, it's not changing color. It's, there's, there's not a lot of differences here. So what that means is that although ox or air may be doing something, it's not doing very much, not in a timely fashion. And if you have algae in the water in your home, you, you simply don't want to do that waiting forever. Now if you can see this line right here, we have now just converted it over. That's oxygen in the nanobubbles. It's a flick of a button on the machine. We can go from air to oxygen generation. And what you're going to see a little bit over time here, now that's ozone. Ozone makes water go ape. And the water just gets excited. We're not changing the flow rate. We're not changing anything. But we're adding ozone to the water. Now I want you to watch what happens to the color of the water over time. In the space of 8 to 16 minutes, um, this is going to become snow white. So that's the ozone. You see the water getting all excited. All of the organics, the cells and the extracts are being shredded. And you're seeing that it's... Um, the nice thing about the nanobubbles is they pervade through water. And so it's going to fill the entire tank with ozone and you can see it gets whiter and whiter uh, because all of the pigments, all of the toxins, all of these contaminants are destroyed. And if we let it set for an hour you can see the clear water uh, that remained. The ability of the ozone technology to over two 12-hour periods take the water from almost like you could walk on it as a felt to after the second day where the water was totally clean. It was absolutely amazing. When we went to Lake Duport in Ohio. And